In my seven plus years of doing play by play for the Calumet of Buffaloes, there's really only two games every season that are highly anticipated. One is Nebraska, the other is Colorado State. And since the Buffaloes are now in the Pac-12 and Nebraska has gone east to the Big Ten, the only way that's going to happen is if and when the two meet up in the Rose Bowl, which leaves us with the Rams. And coincidentally, the Buffaloes square off with Colorado State on Saturday at Sports Authority Field at Mile High in the Since Jeans Rocky Mountain Showdown. Yes, the Buffs are sitting at 0-2 in the season, with the Rams coming in unblemished at 2-0. But despite CU's 36-33 overtime loss to the Cal Bears here at Folsom Field last weekend, I believe I saw a team which had made major strides since that season-opening loss at Hawaii. Most notably was CU's improvement on offense. Tyler Hansen throwing for a school record 474 yards without an interception, by the way. And Paul Richardson also setting a Buffs mark with 11 receptions for 282 yards and two scores en route to the Pac-12 Offensive Player of the Week. With that being said, the Buffs still have major work to do in the running game, which I believe shifts into gear against CSU. The Rams come into the Rocky Mountain Showdown with a soft 2-0 record against far inferior competition. I believe with the respect that CSU will have to show Paul Richardson of the Buffs passing attack, this will be the game that Speedy Stewart helps Colorado establish a running game, overpowering the Rams who are down their best defensive player in linebacker Michael Sisson. John Embry will get his first career victory against the Buffalo's in-state rival. I'm Mark Johnson of 850 KOA Radio, and that's my view from the booth.